Look at you. You're all nervous. I'm tense. It's okay, buddy. It'll be fine. Six. I mean, what if this guy doesn't show? It's all right, man. Trust me. July 9th. Come on. This day in history. July 9th. I'll take your mind off things. Okay, I've got one. All right, what you got? July 9th, 1893. It's a hot night on the south side of Chicago. I know where you're going with this. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Provident Hospital. Uh huh. A guy named James Cornish has been in a bar fight. Yeah. He gets stabbed in the chest. Yeah, which is no good in 1893. Or no. really any time. No, because no one's ever performed heart surgery before. Yeah. At least not successfully until the night, right? That's right, because uh, Provident was the uh, very prominent African American founded hospital. So they were pretty cool. They were like, everyone should get care. Everyone should be trained right. if they want to be. Yeah. And they had this doctor there that was uh, one of the founders that actually received the patient, right? Yeah, Dr. Um, Daniel Hale Williams. Yeah. He's known as the father of black surgery. Wow. Yeah. And uh, he, I guess this guy, James Cornish, gets brought in. Uh -huh. And he decides like, okay, I'm going to do what no one else has ever done before. I'm going to perform open heart surgery. Yeah. Even though I don't have x-rays. Right. Even though I don't know what's going on in this guy's chest. Yeah. Even though I don't have um, antibiotics, nothing like that. Yeah, but he had a chest splitter. He did. And two hands. And a scalpel. And a scalpel. And, and yeah, he found he out the uh, artery was severed and the uh, pericardium was cut as well. Right. Which is no good. Yeah. So he sutured him up. Just like he was on the battlefield or something. Exactly. And the guy lived and was discharged, what, a couple of months later? Yeah, like 51 days or something like that. Wow. But the most amazing thing is he didn't have any way to slow the guy's heart. So he's performing the surgery, suturing an artery, suturing the pericardium, yeah. that hard outer sac, like you said, while the guy's heart is beating like 130 times a minute in his hand. Yeah. So he's going like this the it's whole time. It's probably a pretty nervous heart, I yeah. imagine, at the time. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, July 9th, 1893, yeah. the first open heart surgery is performed. Yeah, Dr. Daniel Hale Williams. That's awesome. I feel a little better. See? It's weird, you know? Yeah. I mean, just talking about this thing in history. We should have recorded that one. Yeah, that's a good point. And we will only get back. <laughs>